Hello, today's lesson we will learn how to change home screen as you might want to uh, put some different uh, values uh, on the screen. Just to recap, screen over here, we've got the top line that tells us local or remote, the name of the drive and actual speed reference. Then we've got these three lines which uh, is actual values and you can put any actual value uh, in any one of these three lines. You can change it, you don't need to leave it on default. So say for instance, I've got output frequency. Let me start the drive first. You can see the values are changing, but I don't want to see output frequency. I want to change this to motor voltage. Very easy to do. I go to options, scroll down to edit home view. And you will see it's now blinking white and black on that position over there, but I want to change output frequency. So I scroll down to output frequency and I say edit. Press the edit button. Parameter, I don't want output frequency anymore. I want to change it to uh, motor voltage, which will be output voltage. So come and I'll look for it over here in group uh, one. Output voltage, I select it. I see, okay, it's output voltage and I say done and done and now I've got output voltage. If I start my motor now, I can see the actual motor voltage, actual motor current and the speed in RPM that it is running at. Very easy to do. Hi guys, in today's lesson we will learn how to use a system info menu to see what firmware version is loaded on your VSD and on the control panel itself. Sometimes when uh, the customer, you guys have got a problem with a VSD, you phone us, uh, the ABB service uh, team, and we request from you to get a firmware version because your problem might be specific to your uh, firmware version that you've got loaded onto your VSD or onto your control panel and 90% of the times we have to struggle to get you guys to get uh, the firmware version for us because you don't know how to get it and it's actually very very easy if ABB service engineer requests from you the firmware version whether it's for the VSD itself or for the control panel just go to menu scroll down until you see system info select it and there you will see system info for the drive, system info for the control panel. So if I want a firmware version for the drive, I can go to drive. And then I see panel bus ID, product name. This is the name of the drive itself. Product type is ACS 880. And then I will see firmware version, FW version. It's AINF6 version 2.90. Or the loading package version is AINL6 version 2.90. This is what we want from you guys when we ask you for the firmware version. Now if I want a firmware version of the control panel, I can scroll down to control panel, enter it, and there I will see firmware version of this control panel is a GPAPW version 5.93. Also tells me what is the product type of this control panel over here, and this ACS-AP-W means it's a Bluetooth panel for the ACS 880. So, really easy to do. No reason why you guys cannot give us a firmware versions anymore. 